The Immigration Minister Ian Lees Galloway has directed his officials to come up with a solution so Indian immigrants aren't unfairly excluded from obtaining partnership visas. The intervention has come after mounting anger and frustration from the Kiwi Indian community at recent policy changes with some even walking away from the Labour Party. Here's our Deputy Political Editor Craig McCulloch. Sher Singh, once a staunch Labour Party member, last month found himself penning his resignation. A series of strict immigration policies wearing down his support. The final straw, a crackdown on partnership visas. That just triggered me. I thought, no, this is not me. In recent months, Immigration New Zealand has adopted a tough new stance, insisting that couples must have spent time living together in order to be eligible for a partnership visa. For those with culturally arranged marriages, it's near impossible to meet the criteria. To a point it's disrespecting our culture. Mr Singh's comments have not gone unnoticed. Indeed, a growing chorus from the Kiwi Indian community, frustrated and angry. A public meeting and rally are both planned for this weekend. The minister responsible, hearing the calls. We value the Kiwi Indian community. They make an enormous contribution to our society, to our communities and to our economy. And I am hopeful that Immigration New Zealand will be able to find a solution. Ian Lees Galloway has directed Immigration New Zealand to reconsider its new practice while still staying within the government's policy. I've asked them to look at what is possible and to come back with options on how uh, we can ensure that people who are in genuine culturally arranged marriages have the opportunity to bring their partner to New Zealand. For sure, Singh, it's a glimmer of hope but just a glimmer. There's a difference between saying and doing, right? I want to see something solid. We need a plan in place. And if there's a plan in place and we see that in writing, yes, then maybe I might think of going back, but I can't promise that. Not much enthusiasm either from Alistair McClymont, an immigration lawyer who's now calling for all the cases declined over the past month to be reviewed and reconsidered. He says the policy change should never have happened and it's taken too long for a back down. So it's taken the minister a month. Why has it taken a month? Well, it's been because of the communities who have been lobbying their MPs. It's because the media are running news stories. I mean, do we have to wait for that to happen before the minister realises that his department's made a stuff up? I want this to be dealt with quickly and I hope that they'll be able to come back to me as soon as possible. But the minister could yet face another roadblock in New Zealand first. Its leader, Winston Peters, has previously taken credit for the tougher stance, and speaking from Japan, he suggests any change would need his party's sign-off. Until we see what that so-called solution is and approve it, it will not be a fact. Yet another potential pitfall for the coalition government to navigate in two parties speaking to two very different constituencies. From Parliament for Checkpoint, Craig McCulloch.